What's up guys, it's Eric. Um, I'm in a pretty good mood right now. I'm going to do an update on all my tanks. I uh, see a little white ring around my male Episto's eye. I had a scare last night, man. I got home from running a bunch of errands yesterday and he had this white puffy ring around his eye. And he still has it a little bit, but it's not as bad. So what I'm thinking happened is he got in a little bit of a fight with the female. And uh, it's looking better, so I'm not as worried, but I'm still going to keep an eye on it. <laughs> Keep an eye on the eye, um, dude. I was I was freaking out big time. I thought I thought he had a uh, Popeye disease. Thought he was gonna die. Um, but I mean, as you can see, he's still got really good color. He's still moving around. If I put my hand up here, see, he comes up thinking he's gonna get fed. So he's he's still healthy. So I just need to need to keep an eye on that. Uh, whatever's wrong with his eye, that injury or whatever. She's looking pretty good. She's getting a little bit fatter, so I'm, I'm hoping she's going to get ready to breed again pretty soon. Uh, I put that other female Episto on here, but I think she's the one that did that to his eye. So I moved her. I'll show you her in a second. Sorry for the glare. Uh, the tank itself is doing fine. Hold on. The tank itself is doing fine. Uh, it looks a lot clearer. I did a huge water change yesterday when I found out that my, uh, my Episto was having some kind of a problem. I thought it was, you know, some kind of bacteria. So I pulled out all the driftwood, um, pulled all, everything but the plants out of here, cleaned it, vacuumed it real good. Um, got all the dead debris and fish stuff. I, I took the filter out, put new media in, uh, cleaned it, so it's pumping out water really good now. Uh, so there's a lot more flow in the tank. Uh, my tetras are all doing great. You can see them swim around. They're not, they're not schooling like they used to, but I think that's just because they're, they're uh, more comfortable in the tank now. But all in all, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this tank. I just, just as worried about the, uh, <laughs> the Episto. I'm still a little worried about it, but I'm gonna keep an eye on them. So, uh, yeah, there's the 20 tall. Oh, uh, only thing I've done different is I went and got this little digital thermometer, and as you can see, it's. 77.9. I need to raise the temperature up a little bit. Um, I just got it stuck in there right now. I need to pull it back out and tape it to the back. Uh, so yeah, that's doing good. Let me show All you right, guys. Here's my 10 gallon. Um, not a whole lot going on with this one right now. I've got these little Cory cats in here, and uh, I put the female Episto in there, and she likes it a lot better. She's swimming around. Uh, I had her in the 20 gallon, and she was just just a mess. She was hiding the whole time. She barely ate, and I think I'm pretty sure she's the one that trashed the, uh, the the male. So I put her in here, and um, I don't know. I might try to breed her. I have to get a new a new male. I could put the male in here with her. Uh, I got these little pots. I'm gonna put the other one. I'm gonna put this pot like this one because I kind of like how that looks, anyways. And uh, until I can just get some better decor in here, see my little baby catfish. And I think I'm gonna get some more catfish too. Um, I really like quarry cats. They're just a really fun fish to watch, especially when they school. Uh, I got some duckweed in here. It's it's already growing. <laughs> it's crazy. Um. So yeah, not a whole lot going on with this. Uh, my multi tank. This tank's doing awesome. All the fish are doing great. Um, I found a place where I can get some more multis, but uh, they're kind of expensive, so I've got to got to wait till I get some more money. Let me show you the colors. Check it out. You can see all the bands on it. These are also known as the mini banded shell dweller, um, and you can see why they've got a lot of bands. Very pretty. These guys, when I got them, were almost completely white see if I can move slow enough to show you all of them. This one's a little more pale, but you can still see the, the bands on it. And this one right here has really gotten gotten color to it. This one was completely white. You couldn't even see the bands when I first got it. So they're, they're getting bigger. They're looking really healthy. I'm finally getting them to eat New Life Spectrum. Um, they don't eat a lot. They might eat just a couple of, of uh, pellets, but that's, that's plenty because they're so small. Uh, but yeah, the tank itself is doing great. Now, uh, let me show you my newest additions. 
and the ones I'm really excited about and also really worried about. Alright guys, you see that little red flash that's running around the screen? That's my uh, Dario Dario, Scarlet Baddis. See All right, there it is. It's not the most colorful fish yet, but uh, I mean, it's it's definitely. How long is it up? It's definitely healthy looking. Um, I haven't really gotten them to eat anything yet. I know they're eating something because I walked over here and one of them was using the restroom, so my light's freaking out. I've actually got two of them in here, I'm not sure where the other one's at. Oh, there, there it is. I see it right there. So, there's the baddest. Um, if you guys got any tips on feeding these, I've been using uh, Tubaflex, and they, they seem to... To, to eat it and then they'll spit it right back out and they'll eat it and they'll spit it right back out so I don't know if they're actually eating any um... Let me zoom out again. the tank itself is doing fine um... finally getting the Vesuvius to grow you can see here uh... I need to change the filter it's barely pumping any water out there but that's fine, I mean these guys do, do okay with low filtration they're, they're really small um, I need to do some water changes though. Um, but yeah, I mean, you see, the plant, it's kind of looking like a jungle right now, and I, I like that. Kind of sloppy looking, but it gives the baddest a lot of place to hide in formal territories. I'm, I'm pretty sure I got two males, so, um, where's he at? They need their little space to guard, and I don't know why, they're, they're really active fish. They're, uh, I didn't expect that. I expected them just to kind of chill, but they're they're really really active. So, uh, anyways, guys, and that's it. I just wanted to do a quick up quick update and uh, and uh, show you guys what was going on with the tanks. Uh, I had a really big scare yesterday, so I thought I was gonna either lose my my pisto or have to fight off some bacterial infection so I'm excited thought I would do an update alright guys that's it take it easy